Oh, that I'm back. I'm the man behind the mask. What are you doing in there? I'm meditating. I mean, not in the religious way or anything. I mean, there's no way I know how to do something like that, so I'm just standing still while thinking of all the ways I'm going to kill you when I get out of here. Mm-hmm. That might work. Yeah, but that, that one's kind of messy. Huh. Well, sorry to break your religious enlightenment, but, um, you're gonna have to review Cabin Fever. <laughs> I am so evil! <laughs> Seriously, you want me to review Cabin Fever? Alright, fine. I guess I really got nothing else to do. And... Well, it's come to this. Cabin Fever. Wow. Um, okay. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, for number 10, I guess it kind of makes sense. But you just watch this movie, you're going to have a mixed opinion. Number one, a lot of people hate this movie because there's a scene, it's toward the end, where this kid um, sees a rabbit and it's feeding him pancakes. And I mean, not like a real, la like, I'm not, not talking like a real la rabbit, like a guy dressed up like in a Bugs Bunny costume. And, um,. Yeah, but uh, the movie itself was great. It's one of those movies that, you know, you just put a bunch of people in a situation and see how they react. Stupidly. That's basically how the movie works. I mean, you're probably thinking right now, how the hell did this get on my countdown? Well, that's just because it did have some pretty good horror scenes and it had pretty good, uh, you know, good gore, I guess. I don't really know what else to explain with this, but it is a good movie to watch. Like, if I'm flipping through the channels and I say, hey, Cabin Fever's on, I'm gonna watch it. And, uh, I don't care if you think that's a little weird. But, um, it's a good movie. I, got, I gotta say that. I gotta give it, like, an average rating. I mean, it's not that great. There are scenes that makes no sense. There are characters that you just want to kill before the virus kills them. But, you know, I guess everything works out. Every main character dies at the end, so if you had any problems with any of them, there. They get their comeuffins. It's over and... Oh, God, comeuffins. I haven't eaten in three days. Oh, God. If anyone is out there, please send me a cake! Ugh. It's okay. It's alright. Back on topic. Okay. Basically, it's a bunch of kids that go out in the woods and a virus happens. Where did the virus come from? Well, we never know. Is there a cure for such a virus? Mm, we don't know. But every main character dies, and every person that infects it with dies. Plus, the most comedic ending I've had in a while. If you uh, watch the ending, um, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but it's worth watching just to laugh. Also, one more thing I had wrong about this movie that made no sense. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that makes no sense. But anyway, one of the things that didn't make logical sense was that, you know, a lot of the craziness in the movie was just for, like, I guess, to laugh. I mean, the kid shouting pancakes, that was real useful information for the movie. But, um, no. There's one thing where after the last guy that got the virus, he got actually got to the hospital, and, uh, they refused to help him. They said, oh, we don't have facilities to handle this. So what do they do? They give him over to a cop that chucks him in a river and kills him. Why? I mean, was every single cop in this town messed up because we only get to see really one of them and yes he was messed up but really and and did he ever think that throwing a virus and they know that he has a virus so why would you throw him in a river that fuels the town's water supply it just makes no literal sense and you know and, and yeah i'm pretty sure there's a facility somewhere that specializes in infectious diseases like somewhere in the world or some better hospital you know the mayo clinic you know Something better suited to control it? You can even hand him over to the CDC? Anything? No? Just gonna chuck him in a river? That's easier to do than make a phone call and just set up an appointment, maybe an ambulance, send him off somewhere? No? Weird. Okay, but the reason I'm doing this is just because great tension, good shock value. I guess that's the reason it's on here. Just every time you see people talking, um, just fast forward it. Just be like, Fast forward, fast forward, hey, there's a death scene, and then watch the death scene, and continue with fast forwarding. You're really not missing much. 
in between. It's, it's just filler. Just someone dies, filler. Someone dies, filler. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, um... Okay, well, I'm gonna go and, um... Go to sleep, I guess. Not much else to do around here. Oh, um, yesterday, I saw a fly. That's about as interesting as it got around here. I didn't catch the fly just because it was interesting to watch around some motion other than myself. Oh, there it is again. Locked in a room for ten days! You do this. You do this. I'm not even kidding. Get lock yourself in the lock yourself in a room for ten days. See what happens. You will be resorted to many, many boring things. You want to cut away with something now? No. No, nah, I'm cool. What the? How much freaking bleach do you have on your DVR? I hate you. I mean, if I would, I would just take this mallet and throw it through the glass. Result Crap! Oh, man! That was an antique door, too! Oh, man! And it didn't even break the glass! Oh, man, that is not going to look good for the resale value at all. No siree, that is a big dent. Oh,